This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back. I've started my day early today and let me tell you, I need to start doing it again. I'm usually like up and ready by about eight, but this morning I was up and ready by about 7.30 and it just made such a difference. I had that half an hour of time, a little bit more to myself and I loved it. it may have helped that the sun was shining. I've got a dress on and it feels like summer. So good to have the good weather back. I think what with May being so rainy and this year, to be honest, I feel like this year has been one of my hardest years, mostly down to COVID, but I feel like just has felt like constantly pushing a brick wall and things changing and constantly having to adapt to that change. And it's exhausting. It's just been so exhausting. But anyway, I feel great this morning and I'm gonna hope to get some things done. I want to show you guys some homeware bits that I've been buying in because I've got a few room makeovers coming. And I always think that it's nice that I show you the new in pieces in a separate video so you actually know where they're all from because sometimes I just don't get the time to stay in the makeover videos because let me tell you, they get so, so long. This morning, I'm actually trying to decide on the garden because we've been trying to plow on with the garden. It's been one of those projects that's taken a lot longer, but partly because we just couldn't get in the garden for a month because of the rain. And I partly keep changing my mind. I didn't realize how much I would struggle with the garden. I find inside the home, designing a room, deciding on things pretty easy, like I quite enjoy it, but the garden, totally different. For some reason, I've kind of struggled with it and not particularly enjoyed it. Maybe it's because I've never done any like particular gardening or landscaping or garden design. And at least with rooms, I guess, you have bedrooms from when you're younger and you kind of like start to figure things out as far as what you like design and style wise. And garden, I'm still not quite sure. So I think when I last spoke to you, we were talking about doing trellising, which we're still doing, that's why I'm waving these in the air. But I'm not thinking of it for the same purpose anymore though this could change. Basically, I'm looking at this company, it's called The Garden Trellis Co. They do beautiful trellising. It's definitely on the expensive side, it's more towards a fence, and that's kind of what we're going for. We're gonna go for a green, and actually I'm going for the color that I didn't think I would go for. Can you guys see those? Hang on, let me turn them around. I'll just show you one by one. It's gonna be much easier. So this one uh, was the one that I thought I'd go for. It's like that sage green color. And then these two, I think we've decided are a little bit too saturated. I know they're not that much. Yeah, you know, we just don't want that much color in the garden. And then this is what I think I'm gonna go for. I just think it blends really nicely. It's kind of like non-offensive. It's not got too much color. So it was between these two, but I'm actually thinking of going for this one. I mean, they're quite different. One would be quite light and one would be quite dark, but yeah want to make that decision today it's actually on back order as well as a five week lead time so I don't know if we'll actually be getting it this summer but I think that might be okay <laughs> so I printed off these to show our neighbor because on one side we don't have anything up and I want to double check it with them so this is the wider trellising I mean that one does look gorgeous that's like in a lighter color with a brick wall because obviously we've got a brick wall which we want to like keep on show as much as possible and then this is a bit of a darker color and this is called a privacy trellis so it's got much smaller squares basically and we think that we're going to end up going for that one instead of the larger holes reason being we may have pulled the whole garden apart down there to put in climbers so that they'd grow and we've decided not to do climbers. Of course, we have. Um, I don't, without sounding too ridiculously over the top, I think we want a bit more of a formal garden, which sounds ridiculous, formal garden, but we want something that's like a little bit neater than a country garden. So we're deciding to go for like kind of more shrubbery greenery than actual climbers plus we've got a few climbers already in the garden we've got honeysuckle and another one and they just go wild like absolutely mad and i worry that this trellising 
is semi-expensive and through all of the pictures that I've seen so far nobody actually climbs anything on them because I'm presuming that it's going to ruin them and it'll just come down so that's my thought at the moment if you guys have any ideas please tell me I know a few of you are landscapers um yeah we're struggling with the garden and we've got to make some decisions because right now it's just well you'll have a garden update next week so I'll be able to show you in that this is my new camera setup by the way it seems a little bit over the top with this one but hopefully the sound is way better and also just the quality of the video excuse the general mess of this room and the dust we're currently making them over but this is the dress I have on today it's from and other stories I love it I actually picked it up last year but I hope that they still have them in because I'm going to pick up another colour. It is so flattering and so comfortable and the perfect length. But for now, I'm going to pull over a chair and show you some of these new embeds. Where should I start? Maybe actually I'll start with the one behind me because I will forget about that. And I also need to pick it up. I get so many questions on this print here, which you guys will have already seen um, where it's from. It's from Neptune and actually I adore it. I got it for my birthday, my parents gave it to me, um, but I also got some money for my birthday which I planned to put towards another one of their prints originally, but I didn't know whether I'd get, they've got like two eucalyptus, because it's like eucalyptus in a vase, they've got two like that, one with a more blue vase, and I wondered whether to go for that or the beach scene. I got the beach scene. This one. And actually, originally with Neptune, I was a little bit worried because their prints are, they're not cheap. They're like more on the premium end side for prints, but they are a really good size. They feel really chunky. The frames are really beautiful. They're really nicely put together on the back. Um, and so sometimes I find with prints, it's kind of deceiving because uh, you often like buy a print online and you're like, oh, like, yeah, 25, 30, 40 pounds, that's fine. And then you try and find a frame and that's like, it all starts adding up. And we, since getting the house and starting to get more prints and paintings, we really found that actually usually when they come together like this, all already done, it's a good bit cheaper. So got that one, which I think is gonna be going in the room that we're in at the moment. Sorry, it's the window, the kind of guest room, but our bedroom right now. And I love that it has, I don't know if you can see, but here it has two people walking on it, and I just imagine that's Holly and I. <laughs> also, I think it's really nice to get prints, paintings for birthdays and stuff, because I feel like you'll keep them for a long time, you'll have them in your, ho your home. It's kind of like a nice sentimental present. Shall I stay on pictures and paintings? Because I went a little bit wild on eBay, so I found this one, which is going to be a love-hate painting but the colours I just thought were so beautiful. So these are all of Cornwall, which holds a special place in our heart because we got engaged there. We spent loads of summers there when we were little. Um, and this one is obviously more of like a little village setting, but the colours I just thought were perfect for this room that I'm currently in because the rug's got that like burgundy pink tone. And I just adored this more like, it's like a terracotta -y pink. I'm not even sure how you'd quite explain it because it's not brown, it's not pink, and then it's got the nudes. I just thought the colours were really beautiful. So I'm not quite sure yet how I'll frame these because they're on wood. Um, and obviously the texture's really lovely, so I don't want to hide that, but yeah, we'll see. And then after getting that one, because sometimes with eBay, I think eBay is a little bit, well, I find eBay a little bit scary. It's scary, like bidding on things and then getting it and it kind of turning up and being like, oh, that's not quite how I expected it. But this one you could return and yeah, it was really great. So <laughs> I bought two more and I love them. I absolutely adore them. So I went for these two. So this again is like a little house and it has the perfect coloring in. Um, maybe I'll go and get the cushion, but I don't know if you guys can remember, I've got the um, kind of like tealy blue cushions and they match perfectly with this for the spare room. So I got that one. And then I also got this one, which I imagine will go up on the shelves, hopefully. A lovely beach scene. If you can't already tell, most of our pictures and prints are beach scenes. I just love the water and beach pictures, prints, paintings. So our whole house might be full of them, but I thought this would, it was a nice size that it could just kind of like go up on a shelf. So yeah, they were a pretty good price actually, and hopefully, eBay is a little bit more difficult to link to because obviously as well these are all one off like you won't be able to get exactly these but I just thought that they were so like beautifully painted 
and a pretty decent price for the fact that you could actually get some artwork up in your home. Usually in like normal times, and this is something that I'm finding at the moment, is that I have major online ordering fatigue, which is kind of odd because I ordered online previously anyway, so it's not really like anything has changed. But I think going into the shops and changing it up just made it seem a little bit better and also going out to places. So when you're on holiday, going into galleries and just seeing things and I have returned so much stuff recently and I've just got so over it. So um, it was really nice to get some paintings that turned up that I loved and that's I think why I kind of like box bought. And next I need to say a big thank you to my sponsor in this video, Squarespace, who have been supporting my channel recently. If you haven't been around, where have you been? But they are the amazing all-in-one website creating platform. Their platform makes it unbelievably easy to set up your own website or e-commerce site or portfolio, whatever it may be. They have thousands of templates to pick from, loads of interesting ones that would suit everybody's different style, but you can tweak and adjust them as much as you like to fit in perfectly with you and your brand or style. My website has been run through their platform now for over six months and I absolutely adore it. I could not recommend it enough, so much so that we are now looking at doing our wedding website and it is definitely the place we're gonna go to create that holding place where we can put all of our information, send it to our guests, partly because it's gonna take us two minutes to set it up and design it, but we're gonna be able to adjust it. So if at any point throughout this whole year of wedding planning, we wanna go into the back end and say, actually, here's a load more information. We don't have to go to a web developer. We don't have to faff around with asking anybody else to do the work. We can directly do it ourselves. And so with that, we can also link it to our social media so that they can follow us through on our wedding hashtag or whatever it may be. We can do a blog so we can update them every now and again on what's going on and just a general contact page that they can get in touch with us through. And not just that, but they also do domains. So if you're looking for a domain to create your website, then you can also find a domain with them, which we're gonna be doing. I'd love to know your suggestions for what hashtag and domain we should have for our wedding. Uh, something like ONL ring the bell or I don't know, something interesting like that, let us know below. But if you are looking to create your own website or get a domain yourself, even if it's just a future thought where you're thinking, oh, at some point soon, I might wanna think about doing that business or I'm gonna be getting married, whatever it may be, I have a link which I will put up here, which gives you 10% off your first website or domain. But definitely check them out now, back into the hall. Next up, I have some things from Zara. I've just got my fingerprints all over this one, which is the, a little bit annoying thing about it. We've, I've had this order for a little while, by the way. I haven't bought this all at once. I've been buying it over the last few months, um, and I've had this one up at my desk. And I just thought it was so pretty. I really love this style that it has. Um, and I think that it kind of, I liked it because it felt kind of elegant, but at the same time, modern. Yeah, just really like that. And then also, from Zara, I got, and I've been looking for pots like this for quite a while and I find them really difficult to find and I found two on Zara and I was like, yes, I think you're just about right. They were kind of like the right size, the right style, the right coloring. So first off, this one. I will say though, these are kind of heavy, heavy and that's something that I worried about because I want to put these on shelves. So when we've been building, making, putting them on the shelves, I've been like, but will it hold this? <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, they're kind of like maybe something that you want to put more on like a chest of drawers or you know table rather than a shelf but anyway this one's got this gorgeous texture over it and it's much more of a light kind of taupey color but it's got undertones of terracotta and also a little bit of a sage green it's got that really rustic feel um and just so beautiful i really love this one i can't wait to get it up somewhere and I mean, it really is just an ornamental piece. With all of these though, if you can find the right vase, like glass vase to go inside, or even a plastic vase to go inside, you would be able to use them as vases, but for me, it's just more of an ornamental thing. And then I got one very similar, but this one is even more heavy actually. Um, and the darker tones, but again, I just thought this was such a lovely coloring. A lot of the like items like this that I've been finding have been like a really dark gray and they don't really suit the color tones that we're going for. Love this, love the shape of it. Love that it's a bit a little bit low, just so gorgeous inside. I've got loads of fabrics. We actually need to um, make some blackout blinds and oh my gosh, going back to ordering fabrics. 
I just, I love textiles. Like it's definitely one of my favorite things ever. But looking at all of these gorgeous prints and patterns. So <laughs> all the fluff's going in the air, can you see that? I'm hoping to, well, I need to make a decision on this, but I'm hoping to go for this one in the guest bedroom for the blind. Isn't it amazing? It's by Susie Watson. And actually she has some wonderful fabrics and stripes. I thought this stripe of hers was really gorgeous. They're really soft. The only thing with it is that it's not quite wide enough. Our windows are quite big, so it's gonna have to have a seam in it somewhere. Um, and I'm basically putting it off, but yeah, they're gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. In fact, I've got some really lovely ones in here. This was, let me just show you this one. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in this at all, but this was the other one that I loved, but in the end I felt like it would be too busy. There was too much of a print and a pattern on it. And then this was the other one, which I think is just, some fabrics just feel like they're blind fabrics. And <laughs> this felt like it was a blind fabric. Um, again, it just went with all the color tones really beautifully. I forgot this one, just because it was holding a load of things in. I kind of forgot that it was actually something that I purchased. <laughs> this one is also from Zara and typical me. I'm pretty bad for this online where I look at the size and in my head, I see the size and I visualize it. I'm like, mm, yeah, that will be about that size. It was way bigger than I envisioned, even looking at the size. But it actually fits perfectly in our living room console. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna order a second one to go in the opposite side because I actually find that our console has too much open space. So this was lovely. It's like a really soft basket. And actually it fits a ton of things in. And then moving on, I think that's everything from Zara. Moving on, I picked up a few things from the White Company. And I'm sorry if you're gonna get really bored of all the like wicker things, but it's a wicker item. A waste paper bin, which I've actually been using. It's got stuff in, but yeah, just super useful. It's the kind of thing that I really put off buying, like a waste paper bin, but then, especially in rooms like this, or our bedroom or office or what have you, I often find that I need a bin, so something practical. I might try and find a like plastic bin to go in here too, but for now it's kind of just got paper in, so it's fine. I also did a little bit of an order of my favorite Seychelles, partly because it's Ollie's birthday coming up in August and I like slowly buy things in like very early to prep for like the house and the weekend and also for his birthday so that it doesn't feel like one big stress and one big expense right before it. Like I just, I don't know, is that a bit strange? But I like being quite prepared for things, I guess maybe that's it. And then I did also get to go upstairs because I have loved it so much. Um, their diffuser, their like electric diffuser, which, hang on, I'll get it, it's just over here. So this is the White Company's newest electric diffuser. So it's a bit of a different shape and style. It's totally white. This top bit here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's all ceramic and it has this lovely detailing going all over it. And what I really love about this one is that actually it takes, because it's quite big size, it takes quite a lot of water and fragrance in it. So it's not a case that with the other one, I feel like I fill it up and then I put it on and then quite often I'm having to um, like re-put in the water and fragrance. This one I can leave it for quite a while, which is just much easier basically. So yeah, been loving that one. Loving having it upstairs. To be honest, it's the only kind of fragrance that I now use in the house. So easy. Um, you can just put it on for about two hours. I think it's like two hours, eight hours or 16 hours. Smells amazing. We've got Seychelles and the spa. Love them, absolutely love them. And this is another item from Amazon, which is um, probably a little bit random, but I'm sure you guys will have seen them. They're basically wardrobe baskets so that you can put all of the rubbish that you've collected from the day that needs to be taken up or down the stairs, chuck it in the basket, and then when you go upstairs, you just carry the basket up, which kind of is a genius idea. And we do collect stuff in our staircase quite often to be honest because we have so many stairs and it does aggravate me but I was thinking will this work and will we actually take it up or will it just collect in the basket so yeah I mean good intentions there I'm hoping that it does work so far we haven't actually used it I have a horrible feeling that stuff may dive down to the bottom of here and get lost and never come out but here's hoping it helps us clear stuff from our stairs. Then I also picked up some stuff from H&M and I mean, I couldn't say no to this pillowcase. 
I just think it's gorgeous. Number one, the colour tone is beautiful and goes perfectly for my idea of this room. I wanted it to be feminine and I do love like a warming pink, but I didn't want it to be like pink, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like a baby pink or to feel too pink. I wanted it to feel really grown up and it's only gonna be like pops and elements of pink. To be honest, apart from the rug, which is like a burgundy pinky tones, probably this is gonna be the only other pop that it has in it. But I just think it's so gorgeous, really beautiful. Love the frill around the edge. It's linen, um, it's 50 by 50 and I've got loads of cushion in as that size. So adore that one. So this is a bit of a random one, but I picked up this dish because rewind to quite a while ago. When Ollie and I went on our engagement trip, we went through Sulcombe. I'm gonna try and speed this up, but there was a gallery and they had the most beautiful set of stacking dishes done by an artist. And they were kind of like mother of pearl color. And at the time I was like, they're not necessary. Like I don't need them in my life. Um, and then Ollie proposed, we came back from the trip and I was like, damn it, I wish that I picked them up because they would have been perfect to put the ring in like by my bedside. And also because they were a stack, I could have like put one in the bathroom and they just look beautiful. Um, so he bought them the stack of dishes for my birthday and the gallery really don't usually deliver. So it was all a bit of a faff for him. And then it turned up and it had like a blue thumbprint mark on it. And they were like these beautiful white bowls. Um, so anyway, that went back and since then I've kind of like been waiting for a dish to put my ring on, just terrified that I'm just going to lose it on the bedside table. So I picked up this one in the meantime because we're going to have to go to Sulcan to actually pick it up and see them. Whew, sorry that that was a bit of a long story, but I thought anyway this would be really nice when that room turns into a guest room. It'll be nice for the guests to be able to use, I'll be able to leave it there because obviously the dishes that we get from Sulcum, I'm gonna to want to take to our bedroom. That is why I got the dish. But anyway, it's a lovely dish. I think it's kind of like makes a really nice jewelry dish and I just love that it wasn't too, I don't know, kind of like ditzy or girly and it's lovely mango wood. So yeah, really like that. And actually I picked up the same thing which I haven't unpacked yet because the next few things are actually with Ollie's birthday in mind. I'm desperately hoping that we will finish the garden so that I can do a bit of a party with the family and I have hopefully come to some kind of idea of what we're doing for his birthday. I mentioned before that I was really hoping that we'd go away. That's definitely not looking likely now. And then I was thinking Ireland or Scotland, but I feel like even that's a bit risky. So I think we're gonna go to London for just like a few really nice days and have a bit of um, a drinks kind of party in London with our friends and then come back here and do something with family in our garden. So I thought these would be lovely. Again, I adore mango wood, kind of like for a few nibbles, olives, that kind of thing. Just the most beautiful serving dishes. Um, and I love the colors, just really nice. And then I saw these before on H&M. So they're just their tapered candles. Um, just really simple, unscented ones. I saw them around Christmas time and they did like a gorgeous taupe color, which they still do now, but I didn't know whether it was a little bit on the pink side for Ollie. Um, so I thought I'd pick up two and see what they were like because I think they were only something like $1.99 for the two, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think I might actually reorder a few more of those because I think tapered candles are so amazing for birthdays because they're kind of like the only time where you can really make the effort, especially a 30th. So yeah, got those. I love this. I love this so much. This is actually just a tablecloth, but it's just, it just feels so luxurious and gorgeous. Actually feels really soft. It's got this lovely pinstripe going through it. It feels kind of like linen, but I'm not sure it is. And this is quite a big one. So it's 140 centimeters by 320 centimeters. I'm still not sure if that's gonna be big enough because I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna be around 10 people that we'll have for some kind of like dinner or lunch or something. And I'm thinking of putting two long trellis tables together, but yeah, I'll have to actually put this on them. If not, I think I will buy the same one and just use two or stitch them together or something like that. But yeah, hopefully you can kind of start to see a little bit of a theme there that I'm going for-ish. But to be honest, they're all neutral and obviously I'll use them time and time again. Is that everything? I feel like I've missed something. Ooh, this rug. Now underneath all of this mess that I've made, you can see another rug that I picked up. So I was thinking of layering rugs in this room because I've already had this Persian rug in our 
previous flat um, and I really wanted to use it somewhere but it wasn't quite big enough for this room so I was going to layer it with a rug and I picked up this one which is from H&M and it's a really good size, it's 200 by 300 and I just love the colouring in it. I wanted it to have, I don't know, some kind of texture and difference to it so I really like the two different colours but then at the same time I kind of wanted it to be quite hard wearing because this obviously isn't a bedroom or a living room, it's just um, like, well, a bit of an office kind of dressing room. But I'm not sure it's quite right. So I was going to let it settle because I literally only put this down yesterday. And I wanted to see what it was like when it started to flatten out. But I think it's a little bit too big for the room. I just don't think it quite looks right. I think it looked nicer without the rug. I mean, with that rug on its own and without that one. And that is everything that I have picked up recently. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of those bits. I'm going to sign off this video here. And I will see you guys next week, which is a garden update. So I'll see you then. Bye guys.